Hello and welcome to the first music show of a new year on France 24. I'm Jennifer ben Brahim and we're kicking off 2024 with a guest who has music so ingrained in his DNA that he learned how to play an instrument before even being able to speak. Thomas Roussel is a French composer, conductor and producer, weaving between classical and electronic genres. He's performed in China's Forbidden City, conducted an orchestra on River Seine, and recently collaborated with superstar Pharrell Williams. And he joins me in the studio to tell us more about his singular musical vision. Thomas, welcome to France 24. Thank you, thank you very much. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Now, before we get into your very impressive uh, musical resume, uh, I want to talk about some new releases that we're looking forward to in 2024. Uh, now from Dua Lipa, um, there's also whispers of something being cooked up by Rihanna, as well as French electronic duo Justice, who I know are on the same label as you at Ed Banger. And uh, just this weekend, Ariana Grande announced a surprise album called Yes And, uh, announcing it on her Instagram, and it's set to drop uh, later this week. Now, Thomas, what record are you most excited to listen to in 2024? Mm. Of course, uh, Justice, you know, uh, mm. Ed Banger. So we are super, uh, su really want to, to hear what they, they are cooking right now. And uh, you, you spoke about Kit Cudi before when we are talking yeah. about it together. And uh, I really want to, to hear what he's preparing to. Yeah, from the little morsels that we've heard, it looks very interesting. You'll be yeah. hearing that later on in the show. Now, sticking with the 2024 theme, uh, the French capital is about to host a very important sporting and cultural yes. uh, event <laughs> this summer, the Olympic Games. Now, I know that you were actually uh, part of the Olympic bid, uh, performing uh, and conducting on the River Seine, which is very impressive. The images are beautiful. What was that experience like? It was Maybe it was already like four years ago, something like this, when we won the city and Paris won uh, uh, in front of uh, LA, maybe, I remember, I'm not sure. But uh, we did this performance in a very few days. We had like five days to organize it and to, to book the musicians and uh, for me to make the, the special version of uh, the Bolero de Ravel. And uh, it was a bit tricky, you know, for a classical musician like me to, to replay uh, something like Le Bolero, and I don't want to, you know, to make something bad for Maurice Ravel, you know, he didn't ask anything, so I tried to make something a bit uh, really respectful uh, of the, the Bolero. And uh, I also um, played some of my tracks on the, on the water, and uh, it was a crazy experience, and uh, I think the images are really powerful, you know, that uh, track on the river and with the Eiffel Tower, I was super proud, and it was uh, great. Well, Red Heave is looking this impressive four years ago. I think everyone's excited to see what they cook up for the opening ceremony. Now, uh, you don't just do classical music, uh, you also uh, dabble in the electronic music realm. And uh, we can definitely see that with your latest track called Artificial Light, is collaboration with British singer Jamila Barry, uh, released on the legendary French label Ed Banger. Let's take a listen. So that was Artificial Light by Thomas Roussel, uh, as well as uh, Jamila Barry. Now, uh, it's got a very 90s British kind of breakbeat sound to it. Um, do you actually find it easier composing or making music in the classical realm or the electronic realm or, or kind of similar to you? I, I couldn't answer, you know, it's like <laughs> just uh, music for me. And uh, maybe it's because of my age. I'm super old now and I, I was born <laughs> in 79. So for me, during my uh, teenagehood, it was a massive attack. It was a, a lot of uh, music from London, actually. So maybe we can hear it uh, in this track. And um, when I compose the track, you know, I, I never uh, tell to myself I'm going to do something classical or electronic. You know, it just comes. And um, I have some ideas and I have instruments, actually. Like sometimes it's violin, sometimes it's keyboard, and sometimes it's both. And um, in this case, I, I had this very uh, uh, Londonish track, and I, uh, in my head, I had this kind of voice. So I, I started to, to search a bit for a good singer from London. 
And uh, my A-list, my top list was Jamila Barry, but I don't know her. So I wrote on Instagram, you know, like the bottle. Uh, and uh, she answered, super nice. And we, actually, we met in Paris one week after she, she was coming to Paris. So it was a magical, you know, collaboration, super fast, super easy. And we did it in the studio together. So it's a real collaboration, not an uh, internet uh, thing. Oh, wow. And definitely makes you feel homesick listening to that song. <laughs> but, um, someone who's actually also no stranger to collaboration is this next artist to keep an eye out for in 2024. I actually spoke to a uh, Nigerian singer songwriter Tenny about her uh, latest album that came out at the end of last year called Tears of the Sun, as well as her love of France and working with French musicians. Take a listen. <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Tenny, the sugar mommy of the whole world, and I'm on France 24, talking about my latest album, Tears of the Sun. The inspiration behind the album, Tears of the Sun, is just an album about freedom, about love, about strength, about growth, and most importantly, about resilience. Malaika is a song that just talks about Thanksgiving, talks about hope, talks about faith, talks about walk with the higher being. I'm just thankful and grateful to God and the blessings have come down, so we're ready to fly. Well, I've been a big fan of Tyke, and I wanted to get a song with him because I love him, I love his music, I love his personality. I flew to France, uh, went, met in Paris. We had studio sessions and it was just bow, it was just amazing. Every day you know I need you. You know I need you. I love French music, especially the African twist. It makes you just want to just bop and just bounce and just feel good. I love, love Ayana Kamura. I love her so much with all of my heart. Africa, Nigeria, you know, we have to collaborate. We have to come together. Sugar Mommy to the whole world. I love you guys. Let's take it to the whole world and beyond. Um, thank you guys for always sticking with me. I love you. So that was Nigerian artist Tenny uh, speaking to us on France 24. Now, Toma, you also, uh, 2023 was also the start of a beautiful, blossoming uh, professional relationship with a certain Pharrell Williams. Mm -hmm. And I know that you um, worked with him when he uh, was appointed as creative director for Louis Vuitton's menswear. Uh, and you conducted his first ever runway show on uh, Pont Neuf. That was such a spectacular show. Mm -hmm. And you also worked with him on the Hong Kong show. Yeah. Um, how did that collaboration come about and what was it like working with him? Uh, it was for me like a, a life goal, you know. Uh, I'm listening to uh, Pharrell's tra track since I am uh, like 12 years old, so it was a uh, really something for me. And um, to have uh, his confidence, you know, it's crazy for a musician like me. And actually, he, he composed the music uh, that I conducted with the orchestra. So uh, most of the time I compose the music that I conduct, but uh, when it's Pharrell Williams, you know, I'm like, uh, okay, it's a, <laughs> a real honor to, yeah. to conduct. And um, so it was the first collaboration, super exciting with a, a choir, a gospel choir, and of course a long, long at the piano. You know, so for me, it's just uh, like a big chance and uh, just excitation, no stress at all. Uh, just uh, super cool for me to, to participate. 
And uh, as you said, one month ago, we were in Hong Kong and uh, Fahel had uh, this crazy idea to do uh, an orchestra of ukuleles. So it's not very common. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that's so not an instrument you hear often. No, <laughs> yes. And in orchestra, it's like super rare. Maybe it was the first time, I don't know. So we casted uh, some musicians in Hong Kong. And then uh, I had to arrange the track, you know, and to write the scores and make them rehearse. So it was a human adventure. It was super cool. Wow, I mean, what an amazing collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, and hopefully lots of uh, positive things coming up for you in 2024. Any uh, quick kind of musical resolutions you've got for this yeah. year? Any hopes? I have, I have a very important one. Is okay. as, as I am super you know, busy with this mm. kind of, of shows and, uh, and that I love, I would like to take some time to make a new album. Okay. And uh, I think this album will be more um, neoclassical with still a bit of electronic music, but okay. you know, more, maybe more orchestra to come back with something a bit more quiet. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but you never know what, uh, what's going to happen, so we'll see. So my lots of very exciting projects coming up for you in 2024. Now we've come to the end of the show and I want to thank you for joining us on France 24. Thank you. We're going to actually uh, play out with one of the first big album releases of the year. It's called Insano by American rapper Kid Cudi. And that's his ninth studio album and has a host of guest appearances from Travis Scott to someone we mentioned uh, just a little bit earlier, a certain Pharrell Williams, who seems very busy these days. We'll uh, leave you with a track. It's called Ill What I Bleed. There is more news coming up on France 24 right after this. He like a man, they never see him, boy, too hot. I hate when cats be talking like we homies, man, you lie. You be popping, El Nino, Coño, and in no disguise. Go and post those senior local pronto, cut like till I die. They all heard a heen, the real one that bleeds. Yeah. The pain of yeah. the lost, yeah. now homie, yeah. you don't know.